What's up guys, Sleepy Jirachi here, and today I am here to show you something that was actually requested, um, how to generate these QR codes. Now, actually, indeed, a lot of you found the actual website, which was on the Reddit that I originally linked, and I will link straight to this website, or you could just type it in right here at uh, lunarcookies.github.io slash upload.html. All you have to do is drag Pokemon files here, and it creates a QR code. But a lot of you aren't aware that you need PK Hex, which will be linked down in the description as well, uh, to the Project Pokemon thingy. Uh, thanks, Kafotix and all you. For doing that, uh, this is basically how you create Pokemon. Um, now, I get a lot of people, and I'm just going to address this first, a lot of people saying that this cannot create legal Pokemon. It can create legal Pokemon. This can create the same exact Pokemon that you get as a starter. This can create... A overpowered uber's non-legal Pokemon it can create anything you can make legal things you just have to be smart about it now um, in case you haven't noticed I have this beautiful Jirachi cursor that I was talking about on Twitter that's really awesome um, we're just I'm just gonna show you how this works real quick we're gonna do let's say Bellsprout and nickname it Bell I don't know. Actually, let's do something we can change forms with so I can explain that as well. We'll do Blastoise, okay? Blastoise, and we'll name him Squirt. Squirret, okay, that's fine. Um, really, you don't have to watch this. You can just go to the straight to the website if you know how to use PK Hex already, but I'm kind of trying to explain this a little bit. Uh, this is the level. This is the nickname. I've explained this in nearly all of my tutorials, but maybe you haven't seen the previous one, so this is um, Adamant. It doesn't... It, it, really, it really doesn't matter at all and then form you can always change the mega now a pre-mega evol evolved pokemon will never be legal the pokemon that i brought into hacked wi-fi battles in the past season one and two of hacked wi-fi battles were at a time before they actually blocked pokemon from going online now pokemon are blocked so you can no longer bring anything you want and things like this mega or things that have moves or things that come from places that aren't normal they won't be usable online and that's just the way it is that's just the way it is um so you have to create something legal now there is ways to do this you can i have many tutorials on this first what is important the first one I did isn't important at all. The one, the original one that only injects one Pokemon, it's similar to the QR code, and the QR code one is generally easier. Now, there is a tutorial I did, a tutorial, um, I will put that in the description as well, that is how to export and import your box, your entire box system, Bill's PC, the whole 10,000 yards. And once you export that, you can edit the Pokemon that you get right here in this box section over here. And you should watch the tutorial to fully learn how to do that. Again, it will be in the description. But once you export it and you take a legitimate Pokemon that you got in the game, it is easier to use that as a base to create other legitimate Pokemon. So let's say you you have a uh, your, your starter that was a Sceptile or something, right? You take that and you can change its IVs to 31. You can fix a whole bunch of stuff. It's just easier because this stuff, the TID and the SID will all be filled out already. The OT will be yours already. It'll belong to you. The attacks, you have to make sure, of course, are legitimate, but you can give it PP ups if you want. That stuff, this is stuff that could happen, like, realistically. You can max out all of the IVs and stuff. You can change the EVs to what you want. Using the box exporter is just a ton easier. And, of course, box importer, people have been able to export their box without being able to import. Some people do have issues with this kind of stuff. Um, but that's where the QR code section comes in. This And this video is labeled as how to generate the QR codes. But I basically explained that in the first two seconds. But let's say we do make this. Whatever we just made, this, this strange, strange Blastoise, right? With these weird, weird moves. Doesn't really matter. Um... Okay, so we just made this Blastoise. Here he is. You can set him in the box. Even if you're not editing boxes, it's just easier to look at him and have him saved here. Here is this Blastoise that we can import into our game. Now, we can use Save As. And um, this PC is essentially empty. So that's exciting. 
so we hit save as, right? And we can save it as square at. You can save it as PKX. You could pretty much save it as... I would just save it as PKX. Because that's what this... Um, that's what this will take it as, is a PKX file. So that's what I would recommend. So go ahead and save that in your folder somewhere. Okay. Let's say you did that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we're going to go into our... Um, Wherever we just saved that, I believe that's in my documents, right? So over here, here it is. This is square at right? Now see this. Drag your Pokemans here below. That is what we need to do. So you basically take your Pokemon. This saved as PK6 rather than PKX, and that happens sometimes, but just don't worry about it. And then you basically just drag it here, and bam! It generated your QR code already. There it is, right there. Bang! Bang, bang, it's right here. You can literally pull out your 3DS, scan it, and it'll be in your PC if you follow the rules from the other tutorial, which will also be linked in the description. That's all you have to do. Of course, using the box exporter, you can then edit Pokemon and then quickly inject them with QR codes. People say, why is this better than the box importer exporter? Well, some people do have issues with the box importer exporter. Some people don't fully understand that. The stuff and sometimes it just doesn't work and um, basically this is just a lot faster if you want to inject one Pokemon really quickly so that's that's fun um, I hope this helped because a lot of you did have questions about this kind of stuff and I really do hope this helped I'm just I'm just here to be helpful so thanks for watching you guys can scan this code if you really want to you'll get square at You'll get square at the Mega Blastoise, or you should, if you don't, you can, I don't know, feel free to ask questions, but if you are going to ask questions, make sure you check out the other tutorials first, don't just blindly ask questions. A lot of them have been answered in the comment sections of past tutorials, as well as in past tutorial videos, and, um, I hope, I just generally hope that this helps you guys, because that's what I'm here to do, is help. Okay? There you go. There you go now. This is all you guys. You guys can make your own codes, scan your own codes, do whatever you want, you know. Um, go back to the other page. That was the Reddit page, which will also be linked in the description. This Reddit page is fantastic because it actually has so many um, stuff in here. Now, some of this says competitive. Not all of them are usable online because I don't think they fully understood the whole legit thing. But again, just take, it, take your little dude right here um, and just drag it in. And bang, there you go. There you go. See that weird hashtag thing? That's that's your QR code right here. Go ahead and go get your square at and go get your own Pokemon. All of it in the description, yada, yada, yada. I'm just going to keep repeating myself unless I stop recording now. So thank you guys for checking this out. If this helped, make sure to leave a like. Um, and I will see you in future episodes. Egglock tomorrow. Get excited for that. Um, that's pretty much everything. Um check out my other stuff if you want you can check out my channel subscribe if you aren't already and check out my red bubble if you want that store a lot of the money goes to the artist that made the art rather than me so we're helping trying to help my friend get a um a nice tablet for drawing stuff like that so check out all the links in the description if you're bored you want to go through some links those are some great links to go through you know what i'm saying i really need to stop going on and on okay thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like if this helped i already said that and goodbye